Okay guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be sniffing the network using 802.11 traffic using our wireless network card in monitor mode. And we're going to be targeting our Windows 10 machine and showing you a basic overview of how this attack works. So our victim machine is running a Windows uh, 10 operating system. I'm using a Kali Linux installed on a partition on my hard drive. We're going to be performing uh, the 802.11 attack using Wireshark and uh, TCP dump. There are some prerequisites involved. First being that you need a wireless card or USB adapter that supports a monitor mode. I'm using the WN227N TP-Link version 2. Unlike version 1, it doesn't natively support monitor mode, but I've downloaded the 8188 drivers from Aircrack GitHub, and they've been installed. Second prerequisite is you need to capture the WPA 4-way handshake. If you're already monitoring the network and the machine connects while you're monitoring, you can capture that authentication. Another way to do it, which is the fun way, which is to send a deauth attack using AirePlay-ng. You also need the SSID and the Wi-Fi password. So we're just going to open up a new terminal, Control Alt T, and uh, put in sudo dash i, put in the password. Let's clear it for a sec. Let's have a look at our interfaces. So iwconfig, press enter. You can see that the current interfaces that I have, one's connected uh, to the internet because I need it to RDP into the machine. So this is the uh, laptop running Windows 10. Just uh, brought up a browser there, that's fine. So I'm, I've already put my uh, WLAN zero into monitor mode. To do that, just go into airmon-ng start WLAN zero or your interface. Once you do that, mine was prefixed to WLAN zero mon, just to indicate that it's in monitor mode. Doesn't always occur, but just uh, something to keep note of. Next thing we wanna do is we want to open Wireshark. So just type in Wireshark into the terminal. It's gonna load up. And here you can see your interfaces. Guess which interface we are going to select today. WLAN01. Double click. You can see the protocols coming up. That's exactly what you wanna see, the protocol 802.11. These are radio waves. So one thing to note, you don't necessarily have to be connected to the network to do this type of monitoring or sniffing. And that's why it makes it much more stealthier and sophisticated than the traditional ARP spoof method, method. So for the next thing, we're going to try to capture that WPA four-way handshake. So I've just made some configurations to the, or made a, a, some changes to the filter. Just put in E-A-P-O-L. And we're going to do an aero dump on the network and we're going to generate some traffic on the Windows 10 machine. So let's just go into sydneymorningherald.com.au Latest news. Okay, so some interesting things are happening in Sydney right now. So now we can go back to our terminal and have a look and see whether the MAC address has come up for that particular machine. And I can see it right here. So I'm gonna select it. And we're going to do an Air E play attack. And we're gonna send one packet. Let's have a look at Wireshark. Okay, so there you go. That's exactly what you wanna see. You wanna see the four packets show up. Going on to the next step, is we need some way to decrypt the 802 traffic. If you go into Edit Preferences, Protocols, press I on your keyboard, scroll down a bit, find 802.11, I triple E, where it says Decryption Keys, click Edit. 
okay so this is where we need to decrypt the 802.11 radio waves and make them into TLS, HTTP, uh, UDP, all that good stuff. There's some key types, there are different options that you can select. There's WPA password. If you want to do it the lazy way, you can. So put in the password of the wireless network, colon, and the SSID. I want to show you how to do it using WPA-PSK. Let's do that. So we'll select that now. You'd need to basically go into this website. Wireshark offers uh, a system where you can hash the SSID and the password. So this is the site. All you need to do is put in your passphrase or your password for the wireless network, your SSID, Press generate and it will generate a PSK. Highlight the PSK, go into Wireshark, double click where uh, in the key section, press enter, press OK, press OK. Now, what you want to do, you, we can play around with the filters a bit. I already know that the machine that we're targeting, the laptop, is a, a Quanta, that's what it's called here. So you can highlight that particular packet and have a look where the, the actual headers are in the frame. If you select I triple E and highlight where it has the MAC address, copy that value, right? Copy the value and go into the filter section, WLAN address equals equals paste enter. Let's see what comes up. Okay, you can see some packets are coming up. There's still 802.11 packets. There are some R packets here. So it's slowly SSDP packets as well. It's slowly decrypting that information. Let's call some uh, more. We're going, we're going to go into our remote desktop machine and we'll call some more traffic. Let's go to Yahoo. Dot com we'll scroll all the way down you can see that there are traffic there is traffic now I already know the IP address of this machine so if you want to hone in on the device even more after you've put in the uh, 802 decryption you can go into IP address equals equals 192.168.16. Let's see what comes up. All right, so there you go. So now we can see the TLS packets, the TCP, some HTTP stuff right there. That's basically how this attack works, and I hope it keeps you vigilant on how susceptible some of your devices are to rolling over when they get hit with that deauth attack some devices they can give it away that four-way handshake uh, very quickly so just keep that in mind also just a disclaimer this video was done for educational purposes only and we do not recommend uh, these techniques to be used on anyone's network but your but your own personal one so keep that in mind and stay tuned for next time.